So Maya, we're sat here in Old Square Chambers together, and Andrew Palmer and Ben Cooper's Chambers, and today you had your judgment. Tell me what it was. We won. I won. Um, I, it was found that I had been discriminated against because of my belief. And your belief being? That men are men and women are women and people can't change sex. Um, sex is real, as they said. So um, all of this started with Anya Palmer? Yes. I, I, there, I mean, there were a group of feminist lawyers who were thinking about belief discrimination before I even uttered a word, I think. Um, and when I lost my job at CGD, I tweeted about it and Anya um, messaged me and said, I heard you lost your job. Um, and within eight days, we put the claim in. And that was, what, three and a bit years ago now? Yes, that was in March 2019. Do you think you'd have started if you'd known it was going to be three years plus? No, I don't regret it, but um, I couldn't imagine that it was going to take more than three years to resolve. What was the worst point? Well, the worst point was really before that. The worst point was losing my job. So there was six months in which I was trying to keep my job and I didn't really know what was going on. Um, it only, all of it came out in the in the hearing, in the evidence, you know, all the, all the emails that I didn't see. So there were six months when I was very isolated on my own. People were talking about me and I didn't know what they were saying and I was trying to keep my job. That was really the, that was really the hardest part. And then once I launched the case and then launched the crowdfunder, suddenly I had all these people behind me. So when you read those words though in the first employment tribunal judgment, not worthy of respect in a democratic society, that must have been a low point. That was, that was absolutely a low point. And also that that judgment suggested that I'd harassed somebody or created a hostile workplace, which was never a claim that was made against me, but you know, that has become the story that's been told about me for the past two years. You know, it was all about my tweets and saying that um, men are not women in, you know, I was talking about mammals. I mean, I wasn't talking about anybody at work and I was talking about the Gender Recognition Act and the consultation that the government was doing. It was just that, um, expressing that opinion that then led to alarm bells ringing in Washington DC and then starting to raise an investigation about me. So we'll skip lightly on past the Employment Appeal Tribunal, which overturned basically everything that was said in the Employment Tribunal, and fast forward a little bit past that, and then you founded Sex Matters with Anya and others. Yes, yeah, so um, once I realised that you know what happened to me um, was happening to hundreds and thousands of people, women and men, but mainly women, um, in across every sector, you know, people are emailing me and DMing me all the time to say they've been investigated or they're scared of putting their name out in public because they know they will be reported and investigated. Um, you know, we realised we need an organisation to um, help people to understand what their rights are, help organisations to understand that they have obligations towards everyone. That, you know, it's not just as simple as putting a rainbow flag up and, and saying you're inclusive if you're actually discriminating against people. Well, well done you. Thank you. It hasn't been easy. It's uh, great what Sex Matters is doing now. And I think it's really cheers to everyone who has, cheers. everyone who has helped the case, everyone who has supported Sex Matters, and everyone who has been made a little bit braver by Maya's uh, Thank you result. so much. And thank cheers. you. It's changed a lot of people's lives. Yeah, let's. Cheers. Cheers.